Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. Today what I want to do is show you how to set up Flash Develop to create an action script game using the Citrus Game Engine. This was originally uh, done by... Uh, oops, I got it from Go to and Learn, which is uh, Lee Brimlow. He's an Adobe um, evangelist and you can see he has a whole lot of videos. And the video that I'm basically inspired by was this one here on the Citrus Game Engine. Now he does it in Flex Builder and Flash Builder, and Flash Builder, and that's why I'm doing it in Flash Develop. I'm going to change his slightly as well. So thanks, Lee, for the uh, inspiration. So if you want to see uh, more stuff that Lee has done, you can go to gotoandlearn.com. But the first thing we want to do is I just want to show you what it looks like complete. And so this is it. You can see we have our package and our main. I called it Citrus Example. And then we also have a class, um, a game state class. And as you can see, if I run it, the player comes up. Now there's obviously nothing here, but it comes up. So it does work. So. And then over here you can see that I have this, these items in my library. Okay, actually the player global, I don't need that, so I'm just going to delete it. But I, we, do, we, knew, we would need this. And so if I come here, I can, you can see we can go to citrusengine.com. And if you just click download, it's going to download the download complete engine and what it does is just downloads that entire SWIC file okay so there it is it's saving it to my download folder and then what I'm going to do is just come in here and say show in folder and so there it is in the folder now as you can see I already have one downloaded so I'm just going to delete this one both of these anyways so this is the one I want and so to get this into uh, flash develop, it's actually quite simple. Um, you can bring this forward and minimize. And all you have to do is literally drag this to the library folder and release. Now, when you first do this, it doesn't like to see the library folder because, because uh, there's nothing in the library folder. So if it seems like you're not dropping it in the library folder, that's pretty that's pretty common. So but what I'm going to do is start a new one so that you can sign it, kind of see this, the process for this. Okay. But the first thing I want to do is quick come here and I just want to quick copy this. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'll keep that up and I'll just go back to view and there's the start page, which is what you would see when you start. And so what we want to do is we want to create a new project. And then we want an AS3 project, an action script 3. And we're going to just call this Citrus Game Test 2. Okay, and then I'm going to make a folder for it Game Test 2. And click. Okay. And so here it is, here's our source. And so what I'll do now is I'll copy that. Not it. That's it. I'll copy this SWIC, this right here, and I'll just drop it into the library folder. Oh, it worked there. Okay, and then once you do this, you have to right click on it and you have to click add to library. And once it's turned blue, it's added to the library. So then what we want to do is come to our main here, and I'm just going to paste this into here. Okay. And that's the first part of it. Now if we want to make a class, we have to come over to source, we have to right click, and then we have to say add and we have to say new class. And our new class is going to be game state, which is right here. 
So all we have to do is say uh, game state and uh, I think it's the Oh, I have to look. So it would be here. So it would be Citrus Core Starling Starling State. Just click OK. Okay. So there it is. And now we need to type in super. And I think that's. Uh, if I look over here, that looks all correct. This looks all correct. So let's go ahead and save this. Come over to this one and let's run it and see what happens. Oh, stage three cannot be found. Okay, I know what's wrong there. What we have to do now is we have to go to project, properties, and the problem that we ran into, I ran into was this splash player. We have to up this to 11.5. Now, once we do that, it should work. So I'm going to click test project. Bug run. Uh, oh, it's it's running. So I gotta come back there, close that. Sometimes the window will run in the background. So let's try this one more time. And it works. So as you can see, it's fairly easy to set up um, as you can see, it's fairly easy to set up Flash Develop as an action script project. So this is how you set up Flash Develop to create an action script project. The next part is I'll actually show you how to build the platform game, and then we'll look at how you would modify it. So my name is Michael Langdon, and I am the learning engineer. This is how to set up Flash Develop to create an action script game using the Citrus Game Engine. Did you get all that? Have a great day. Bye.